1995 heat wave in Chicago claimed at least 700 lives. That tragedy taught public health officials that extreme heat exacerbates asthma, heart disease, and a wide range of respiratory issues. The most vulnerable people are those who have no break from the heat. Construction workers, athletes, the elderly, and people without access to air conditioning. Given the current trajectory of climate change, what seems unusually hot today is likely to become commonplace in coming decades. So the health impacts of extreme heat are on the rise. The Minnesota Department of Health has created an extreme heat toolkit to help communities adapt and prepare for heat waves. We provided numerous strategies for local public health departments or emergency managers to use so that they could pick and choose what made most sense to them. And we also developed a draft response plan. So they can just take that document and look at that plan and insert the information that is relevant and most important to their communities. And one of the really great things about the Minnesota Extreme Heat Toolkit is that we've done a lot of the work on planning for emergency managers or local public health departments already. Prior to a heat event, emergency managers stay tuned to NOAA for weather and climate warnings of heat waves. Maximum heat index values exceeding 105 to 110 degrees. The Heat Health Toolkit includes a comprehensive set of maps that identify vulnerable populations throughout the state. Of course, local communities are encouraged to make their own custom maps. We're really concerned about 80-year-olds. So we did mapping of 80-year-old population and then where cooling places were. So they could identify pockets of their county where there's uh, no cooling centers, but they might have a high population of 80-year-olds. So they were able to target certain places that lack those resources and put those resources there. Partnering with the Centers for Disease Control, Minnesota public health officials are helping communities, large and small, prepare for extreme heat events using the Building Resilience Against Climate Effects framework. It's a great uh, framework because it's using the best available data and science to help us really think about climate change and how best to adapt to it. 